I know, I know. Oh, hey, my wonderful fans, I'm back with the next song. Um, lemonade, you know, I don't drink alcohol. Ah. Well, this next song, I know you're not allowed to have favorites. Uh, like if you have children, you might have two, three, four, or even just well, if you have one, <laughs> then it's going to be a favourite. But uh, yes, when you have children, you're not supposed to have a favourite out of the uh, bunch. Uh, and the same goes for songs, I think, uh, especially on this LP. Um, I do remember as a child, I think that I probably was the favourite, you know. I seem to remember getting more Christmas presents and birthday presents than my brother and my sister. Uh, but I was a much better child, very well behaved. I think I didn't cry too much. And um, well, I remember one Christmas, for an example, I got a train set. My brother got one of those racing car things, you know, with uh, the two tracks. And, uh, well, when you have a train set, obviously it's just one track and only one child can play. And when you have a racing car set, it's got two tracks, so obviously two tracks make two players. And uh, so it, it was pretty obvious that the toy was meant for two people, my brother and myself. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes, he would play with his friends and, uh, well, I couldn't get on. Well, uh, it was quite sad for me, as you can imagine, only being small, uh, I don't know, 12, 13, something like that. Um, well, one day, we don't know how it happened, but uh, it caught fire. Uh, and I think the couch and the carpet also went up in flames. Uh, she, the whole room went up. Uh, nobody actually knows how it happened. Uh, and I don't even know why I'm telling you this story. Because I am digressing. What I wanted to say was that uh, you shouldn't have a favourite. Uh, but I do. And it happens to be this song. But I'm just a teeny weeny little bit favourite. It's called uh, Jane's a Fat Cow, and uh, I did mention earlier that people who argue aren't always polite to each other, and uh, this is what uh, made me write the song in the first place, just watching them, you know, sitting in a cafe nonchalantly having my coffee and watching people saying pretty nasty things to each other. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, not always the right thing comes out of your mouth. So, this song, Jane's Fat Cow, is along those sort of lines. I told you it's not something that's ever happened to me. I have never called anybody any bad names. And as far as I remember, nobody's ever called me any bad names. Uh, not that I know of, anyway. So, here we go with the jeans fat cow. She's a big fat cow Every day we used to row Cause she's a big fat cow She's got a huge bum 
and a giant tongue. She's got a huge bum and a giant tongue. I have to say, she's pretty dumb. Jane's fat cow, how I hate her now. Got a face like a clown, looking at her makes you frown. I'm not turning the page. Jane's big fat cow, how I hate her now. Chest hangs down to the ground, leaving skid marks over town. Jane's a big fat cow, how I hate her now. Got great big feet, like plates of meat. When she falls, she gives off heat, like a bog or peat. Jane's a big fat cow. How I hate her now She's a big fat cow Oh how I hate her now Yes, and I think now you can see that why it's probably one of my favorites It's just got that little melody just that little twist uh, quite unusual I do believe um, which sort of leads me into the next song, which is um, song number eight, I believe, and it's called So Sorry Jane. And of course, it's called So Sorry Jane because sometimes when people do fall out, they later on regret it, uh, and the damage has been done with so many horrible words, you know. And it's so very difficult to um, reverse the situation. Uh, so um, to those of you who, you know, might get into an argument and momentarily not like each other, just take a moment to think, am I doing the right thing? You know, uh, words do hurt. Words do hurt, yes. Uh, so the next song, So Sorry Jane, actually, is about feeling bad about saying horrible things to somebody and regretting it. Mm. Okay, on that very, very deep note, I shall leave you to contemplate song number eight. Contemplate number eight. What do you think? I <laughs> know.